Keyframes are crucial for every editor who wants to make good, interesting and engaging videos. Keyframes help you animate text, images and make your videos look more professional and more interesting. Today I'm going to show you how you can animate anything in DaVinci Resolve 18. Let's go. I've got my text plus over here. In order to get your text on the timeline, go here to titles, text plus and just drag it in here. Okay, this is my text. Subscribe. I already changed the text to subscribe, font impact and regular. If you like this text, then you can copy my settings over there. Okay, in order to move the text on the screen, go to transform, click on transform and just grab it and drag it wherever you want. I like it to be here. Looks good. Go back to transform and lock it. Good. So what I want to do with this text, I want the text to appear on the screen and then rotate to 360 degrees. But I want it to zoom in. OK, so for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to transform to settings just here. Make sure the inspector is toggled on, you see, and then go to transform settings and here where all the magic happens. So you see, you can actually keyframe everything. The zoom, the position, rotation angle, anchor point, pitch, your flip, everything. You can keyframe everything all at once, or you can do it manually one by one, just like this. We're going to do it one by one and we're going to keyframe the zoom first. OK, so for this, make sure your playhead is at the first frame. You see, there's nothing here. And then first frame where the text appears, make sure it's on the first frame and go to this diamond over here where zoom is, click on it. And at this point, I want the text to disappear just like this. And I'm going to click on my playhead and count to 10 frames with my right arrow to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, so I've got 10 frames. And at this point, I want this text to zoom in and appear just like this. Nice. OK, you see, you can actually press on this arrow to the left and it's going to show you the first keyframe where the text is not on the screen. And you can press again this right arrow and it shows you the end keyframe. Right. Let's go to the first keyframe and play it. Boom. Very nice. So what I want to do now, I want the text to rotate to 360 degrees. For this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and keyframe the rotation angle. When my playhead is here on the first frame, I'm going to go and click on this diamond over here, of the rotation angle, go to my last keyframe of the zoom, just press here. OK. And then at this point, I want it to rotate actually to the right. OK, I want it to rotate to the right. For this, you have to drag it all the way to the left to minus 360. OK, look at that minus 360. So it's sort of like rotates nicely and smoothly to the right. I think it's much better to the eye. OK, and let's have a look now how it looks like. Boom. So cool. Look at this. Boom. What you can do next, actually, you can actually keyframe it to disappear to the right. OK, at this point, you go to position. Let's keyframe the position as well. Go to position press on the diamond. OK, and then let's say another press on the playhead, another 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At this point, I want it to disappear to the right. Go on the X axis. Just move it to the right, just like this. Boom. Let's have a look from the beginning. Appears, stays on the screen for a few seconds and boom disappears pretty cool one thing i want to tell you is that the shorter the distance between the start point and the end point is the faster the motion is going to be the longer the distance between the starting point and the end point the slower the movement is going to be so this is what you have to keep in mind but from my experience the shorter the distance i think the animation looks better because it's a bit faster, it's a bit more dynamic. All right, let's go now to our second example. For this, I'm going to go and grab a PNG, 
file just over here just this one over here buy me a coffee yes please guys why not buy me a coffee if you appreciate what i do on this channel thank you very much right i'm gonna go over here and just put this one just there and put it on top here put it on top here i'm gonna move the text over there just like this you know make it a little bit longer okay so we're going to start here for this we're going to go to transform again press on transform and let's make the text a little bit smaller okay just like this and uh, we're going to start from here okay and again what i want to do with this text i want this text to roll over and rotate and just like stop here for this i'm going to go to anchor point just over here and keyframe it press on this diamond over here go to again one two three four five six seven nine ten yeah somewhere 11 12 12 frames just go over here just like this let's have a look how it looks like boom very nice okay again i'm gonna go to the, the beginning and this is the end point when i get to end point I want it to rotate to 360 degrees. For this, I'm going to go back to the starting position, keyframe the rotation angle, you see over here, and then go to the last position and go to minus 360. Let's have a look. Boom. It goes outside the frame and then comes back. And the reason for this is that it needs to rotate to 360 degrees. Pretty cool. On the last frame, I wanted to keyframe the yaw. Come here, do one, one, and then do this. Let's have a look. Pretty incredible, isn't it? If you want some sound effects, it's going to be even better. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. And why not? Buy me a coffee. I love coffee. No more than two a day. And I will say thank you in the next video. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.